एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल दिस साइड प्रिया भाटिया एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टूडे टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर वेरी न्यू प्ले लिस्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज अ लॉट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिक्वेस्टेड टू मी रिगार्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले लिस्ट एंड नाउ आई थिंक इट्स द राइट टाइम दैट वी शुड स्टार्ट अवर न्यू प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पाइथन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द रोड मैप ऑफ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग how basically the flow will go what things we will cover up in this complete playlist i'll talk about everything in very detail but before moving ahead please make sure that you share this announcement with everyone on linkedin and tag me as well do hit like button subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me and help me to reach to wider students right and with this without any delay please let's get started so whenever we are talking about the road map of python programming language there are few certain steps which we we will follow here okay the very first step is that we will try to get a very good foundation of this programming language for which we will study about basic python coding skills right so the very first step where we will focus on is the foundational step foundations of i would say python coding skills okay so here what we will try to cover up because i am assuming that many people are not at all aware about this programming language so i will start from a scratch and i'll talk about variables right string list right then i'll talk about dictionaries i'll talk about set i'll talk about tuples then followed by we will talk about something called as control blocks in python programming language which is if else condition and uh, the loop part right after which we will talk about the functions that we have in python and how we can define them after that in this complete playlist we will talk about the modules that we have with respect to the python programming language now these things are the i would say basic basic part basic to intermediate part of python once we will cover up these stuffs on our channel after that we will try to talk about something uh to intermediate to advanced where we will talk about something called as a exceptional handling right exceptional handling how we can handle any exception in python programming language we will talk about the oops concepts which we have like uh, inheritance polymorphism all those stuffs we will talk about there are so many people who was uh, who were asking about these concepts so we, i'll try to cover up all these concepts in very detail and make sh- i'll make sure that uh, maximum sessions will be the youtube live sessions only so that if you have any sort of doubts you can ask from me in the youtube live itself so please make sure to join uh live only so that you will be able to get the clarity over those sessions uh, on the spot right after that i'll talk about iterators and generators that we have in python iterators and generators that we have in python all these concepts we will try to cover up right and i'll make sure that it's not a theoretical session implementation will also be there with respect to each and every session that we have and uh with respect to the implementation part i usually prefer to do the implementations on the cloud platform so that we will not waste our time on the local environment to you know install and do the sp- do the things on top of that you can do on your uh, own local system as well maybe you can use a uh, jupyter notebook to do the implementation by installing the anaconda prompt or you can do in a visual studio also but i will use in my sessions the cloud platform Uh, which is a google collab it's a free call a free uh, version of a platform uh, no fee will be charged and everyone can use that just a google based id is required so i will use this google collab open source cloud based platform to do the implementations here right once we are done with the foundational of this python coding skills we will step ahead and we should talk about the dsa in python programming language now uh, i already have a playlist with respect to the same dsa in python programming which basically helps you all to build the logics on top of that for example just to give you a very simple example i will give you one problem 
and in that problem uh, let's say you will be having a data set of uh, employees working in a company now i am saying that can you give me the uh, unique salaries of the employees okay so let's say this is the problem statement so maybe you can do that via the list data structure data ds data structure but obviously the most optimized approach will be if you will use the set based uh, data data structure because it will help us to get the unique values so that's where dsa plays a very important role but now i have already covered up this in a separate playlist so i will not try to talk about in this playlist the same concepts here so for that you need to refer my playlist of dsa using python programming language and our second task will be done then the third step will be which i have observed many people usually face difficulty is debugging right okay you have written the code now how will you will you be able to debug your code how will you be able to find out the errors that you have in your code what are the conditional breakpoints that we have everything is very very important to understand so i will show you each and everything how basically we will be able to uh, resolve our errors if we have in a code then after that we will talk about the libraries that we have in python why this python programming language is very famous the only reason is that it contains a lot many you know libraries which makes our life as a programming uh, programmer very very easy it has libraries like numpy pandas right matplotlib cborn now those who are from data science background i am expecting that they are aware about all these libraries which i am writing here so these are very crucial for example when i'm talking about numpy all the mathematical calculations for example matrix multiplication we can do via simple operations as well in python by writing a code but if you want to do in a most optimized manner in a more faster manner then obviously choosing a library is a better choice so we should have a clear cut idea about all these libraries also that we will cover up in this particular playlist as well and now after that once you will be able to cover up all these stuffs that i'm talking about here i believe you are very much comfortable in doing the open source contribution future in future right you will be able to easily do the open source contributions by yourself so that is something which obviously i'll not show you you have to do it by your own as an outcome of learning from this playlist so basically what we will start in the next upcoming videos as we will start with the foundations of python coding skills where the next upcoming session will be all about a discussion of variables so this is how the flow will go uh, there is no as such need to do the installation but if you want to do the thing on, in in a local environment then you can check it out any of the uh, youtube video and you will get to know that there are so many options you can explore in order to do the code in python programming language but i'll use the google collab because it will really be helpful for me so that we are on the same ground and we can follow each and everything on the same level so i hope that you got the clarity that what are the things that we will follow on what is the path that we will follow on and now i am expecting that you will try to share this information with each and every one of you and uh, uh, i am expecting that maximum students will be there with me in the next youtube live where we will talk about the variables thing so now i hope that you got the clarity what things we will cover up in this complete playlist in the upcoming session uh, that will be a live which is a talk about variables in a lot more depth regarding the python programming language so please stay tuned uh, please connect with me via linkedin and on my whatsapp channel link as well which i will share in the description of this video and with this i'll see you all very soon in the upcoming videos i hope you all are excited with me to start this new journey as well bye bye everyone and see ya